if you're probably watching this video right now that means you want to learn how to do the orange and teal color grading in photoshop you're in the right place now the orange and teal color grading is one of the most popular color grading out there it's being used in hollywood blockbuster movies or for still images i mean it's very nice color grading it adds great pop to your images now i'm going to show you how you can do that color grading in photoshop don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video if you love it now the first thing to do you know first things first right now i'm going to drag my image and drop it into photoshop it's open in photoshop so um i'm using the retouching academy panel and um i'm going to do the custom frequency separation and my radius is set to three and high pass is three so going to work on the correcting tone and um, I'm zooming in just to see what I'm doing have a clear view remember my mixer brush setting is 1% wetness or that's 20 20 20 sample all layer is checked make sure you sample all layer so you're gonna mix or um, mix the colors hide your high frequency layer so you don't create that shabby look on your image so this is uh, basically a color grading video so i'm going to do a very fast one with the retouching so you just have to watch and see how i do my retouching remember what i always say i always emphasize on something you do not mix from your shadows into your highlights or from your highlights into your shadows just be accurate with your mixing and you will get fantastic results So I'm going to be mixing. So probably um, this video is divided into two. The color grading I did in this particular video is the orange and teal color grading. Now from that orange and teal color grading, I'm going to do the metallic um, desaturated kind of color, color grading. I'm going to do the uh, metallic desaturated kind of color, color grading because um, after now my next video i'm going to desaturate um some certain places so it can add this um you know great feel to the image so that's another type of color grading that i'm going to pull out from this orange and teal because i needed to you know desaturate other places apart from the colors that are found in the skin tone and for me to get those target colors i had to use the orange and teal first then later I pull those colors away by desaturating them. So right now what I'm doing is using the mixer brush to, you know, make sure that I have an even smooth skin tone. So I'm going to do my um, virgin bond very fast. I mean, the image is not really um, a portrait image, so it's not going to take time to work on it. Just flow is 1% or pass it 100 make sure that your foreground color is white press x to toggle between the foreground colors and press d if another color is showing d means default so i'm going to paint my shadow i think nothing is happening because my the blend mode of my brush is or multiplied so make sure that the blend mode is normal so i'm going to brush just to create some burn effect in that place. So you just have to make sure that you're doing it the right way. Make sure you're doing it the right way. So try to check and uncheck your layers to see what you've done so far. You can see I'm, I'm doing a, um, a fast one here. And if you want to go ahead and download this image, the link will be down in the description. If you want to practice along with me, the link is going to be down in the description. So you can go ahead and download it and practice with me. So after now, I'll just move straight to my camera roll. So we can go to the main theme of this video because the main theme of the video is 
the orange until color grading but i'm actually doing the retouching so the image looks um you know looks good before i finally apply the color grading so when you're done you know what to do you have to create a stamp visible layer when you're done with your um, retouching create a stamp visible layer that's what you're going to do so come back to smart objects to create a stamp visible layer what you're going to do is hit ctrl shift alternate e on windows command shift option e on mac so that's what you're going to do but i just figured that i needed to crop my image for instagram 4x5 is the instagram crop size when you crop your image 4x5 instagram is not going to crop it any further so i'll still go ahead and hit my camera raw filter straight to camera calibration pull down the blues because the, when you're moving away from the blues you're getting getting the teal so just wa watch my setting and watch how i do it i'm trying to add some pop to the skin tone i mean we are getting there already that's the orange and teal manifesting just right before your face just watch my settings just have to play with those sliders to you know get the um, skin tone you're actually looking for because when you get in on your background when you get on the background you still need to get on the on the skin tone you just have to play with those sliders to see what you you know what you're gonna come up with make sure that you have an even skin tone and texture so this is a split toning I'm trying to add some colors to my highlights and colors to my shadow so um dragging that to the blues means that whatever color i'm going to pull up the saturation there that means i'm going to get that color now this is a hsl slider so i'm trying to pop up the skin tone by going to the saturation slider and now in the luminance trying to pull up um the colors that are found the or the brightness of the colors that are found on the skin so as you can um as you can see that's um i'm on the red um, orange and um yellow slider because those are the colors that are mainly found on the skin so just pull it up a bit i mean we are done with the orange until that's it guys that's how to do the orange until color grading you know you can always go and reduce the opacity if you want to if you think it's too much because opacity is your friend so guys if you love this video i want you to like comment share this video okay i'll see you guys on the part two of this edit thank you so much